This is the only place you need to go if you need cheap and fast coins to build your God Squad. Hands down, they have the cheapest prices. Make sure you go to MMOXP.com and use code WOLF for 5% off. Link is in the description. Homies, what's up? Welcome to today's gameplay. We are using the Ravens. I'm actually in the Ravens offensive playbook because I want to try out the Heisman formation, the plays in there, practicing it, labbing it up a little bit. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Turn notifications on. Become a member of the Wolf Pack. Link is in the description. Oh, that hurt to say, bro. I'm not going to lie. Now, we're kicking the ball off first, so we're going to be on defense. Now, the guy that I'm playing against, by the way, this is post-commentary gameplay, all right? The guy I'm playing, he's not that bad, okay? He's... He, I want to say he's a little bit above average, but he sees that we're screaming and he throws a quick flat route, bro. Okay, so we're going to come with the same setup, baseline. Boom, we're going to blitz, put a hard flat over there now. You see that hard flat? Now he's thinking in his head, I'm still going to hit this guy on the outside. I'm going to throw that. Boom, we got the hard flat. My man goes the wrong way down the field. I don't know what's going on there, man. Third and 16. Now we're sending the hounds again. I got to pull my linebackers in, man. What am I doing? I put that inside third. You guys know what time it is with this right here. We send pressure. He's blocking. He knows what to do, but we get the user lurk because of the pass rush. This defensive setup has gotten me so many interceptions, bro. So many. Now, here we go. Now, right here at the beginning, I left Griffin in this formation. You can sub him out, put your running backs in. I'm going to do a video on how to run this stuff right here, but you'll see me just dish this off, man. This stuff is overpowered. It's cheating, bro. It's cheating. Now, my man gets smart on the next drive, all right? On his next drive, he gets smart. You see me. I think he starts to realize, okay, if he pulls his linebackers in, that means he's going to be blitzing everybody. So I got to get rid of this ball. And if it sounds like my voice is cutting in and out, it's because I'm looking right and left because my mic is to the left of me, all right? So my bad. So he throws a quick out route. We're running a cover two. And I'm trying to set up like a cover three. He runs the ball, so I did all those setups for nothing. You know how it is, man. That's why people hate. Why do you do all the, waste all this time? You're going to run the ball. Just snap the ball and run it. So we're going to blitz him heavy again. He dishes it to a swing out on the right side, and he'll be coming back to this play. He comes back to it, man, because we have him shook. We're right back in the cover two, changing up the blues. I have to guard Beckham on this side, so I couldn't do nothing, but I did have a hard flat there. So it's a fourth and one, shading underneath right here, inside, underneath, and the way I'm reading this with the three red hook is I'm going to follow left and cut right because these routes that are developing, but he ends up taking the drag. I should have stayed with the drag. However, when you're in the middle of the game, you're trying to just throw him off. You know what I mean? So you're not really just uh, giving your all. Right here, we get a good pass rush, bro. That was just a nice, pretty one. We're sitting the, the hounds again. Like I said, he comes back to that swing route and it's smart of him. That's what I'm saying. He's a little bit above average. He's making the proper uh, uh, adjustments and stuff to take it out. Now, right here, I felt like maybe I should have had some kind of animation, bro. My guy didn't do nothing. And he gets the touchdown. So that was a good drive by him. I feel like maybe we should at least knock the ball out over there. So right back in the Heisman, man. This I'm telling you guys. Boom, I dished it off, and there goes Ingram now. And I think if I would have like just stayed in bounds, I could have went up the field. But I tiptoed on the side, so I was only able to get that many yards. All right, so we're back in the Heisman. I'm telling you guys, man, look, look at the setups. Pay attention. The money play master, you guys already know, man. I don't really got to tell you guys much, man. You guys already know this, bro. This is going to be a future video. I'm going to show you guys how to throw the one play TD from it. So if you want to do the Heisman option, you can. You want to do the shovel pass, you can. I'm breaking it all down for you guys in the next video. As far as the run play goes, pass plays, I'm going to have to get back to you guys on that because I'm working on that as well. So he sees whenever I bring my guys in, I'm giving it away my fault man but we get the sack because he's looking deeper he's looking further down the field second and 18 i fake it i'm not gonna blitz i didn't even pull my linebackers in so he probably realized oh i got all this time now but he doesn't really get yards and i don't click on to nobody inside because the game re doesn't reward you for that if that makes any sense so now we're sending hounds boom got the pass rush coming oh should have had the pick bro so now it's fourth and 16 check this out all right he brings in the tight end he blocks him ah it's my fault bro because i feel like he was gonna roll out i should have i should have did what i did here i should have put a curl flat out there because i knew what he was trying to do and he's setting it up you know what now that i'm thinking about it bro he's using my setups that right there was my setup 
he throws a little out route because I'm blitzing everybody, and that's just the unfortunate things that happen whenever you're trying to blitz all out. You know what I'm saying? So now we're at a second and goal, and my man just just gonna run it in for the touchdown, bro. So now it's 14-13, right? He tried to go for two and messed it up. We're in the third quarter. I actually fumbled the ball on the kickoff, right? No, it was on the drive. I fumbled the ball, and he got the ball right there. So I just cut all that out just in the interest of time. He's got the ball back, and he's he's on a run, bro. He's just on a run, and boom. You know the forward animations, they just push you forward with the run in this game, man. So now he goes for a two-point conversion after uh, hitting us, and he runs stick, bro. And I, think, I was thinking that my man was going to come in on a slant, and he dipped on the outside, and that was just beautiful. So now it's time for us to lock in. And we go with the inside zone. Oh, get the little juke, bro. Get get your ankles broken. Now, right here, pay attention. Okay, I run my little drag over here. Boom. Now, I already know in my head because everybody does this. Everybody does the same. They start to bite the drag route. So we run this again. And now he's going to bite the drag route. There. Well, actually, you know what? He doesn't. He just doesn't know what to do. And we hit the crossing route with Duvernay. And Duvernay is like... One of the best wide receivers to support Marquise Brown. You know, he's like a hardman to a Tyree kill. So now he has the ball. I'm running nickel normal. I have to play defense, bro. I didn't have a claw flat or nothing over there. So easy for him to do that right there, bro. I thought I did have a, have a claw flat. Maybe I did. I don't know. But right here, I don't think he has anywhere to go. I'm trying to bait him so he throws that, but he doesn't. He just runs with the quarterback. Second and five. We're running claw, uh, uh, curl flats. And I'm just going to pick uh, any drag or whatever I see. But there's really nowhere for him to go. He didn't actually have a drag out there, I don't think. Third and five. Boom, play action. Got this guy. He tries to go over the top. And then EA. They home me, bro. They don't, they don't let me get the pick. That was a user pick too, bro. Fourth and five. I'm watching middle, watching middle, watching middle, watching running back, watching running back. He doesn't see the cloud flat there. And we get that perfect timing. User pick. So now it's 21-21 with two minutes left. Actually, 137 because we just fast-forwarded. I'm running the dagger play, the play that he was trying to hit me with. Just lasers. Who can throw passes like me? Inside zone. Inside zone. Love that play. Third and five. My man's got us. We're hitting with the drag. I got the crossing route. I know my man's going to get the separation. I just need him. I just need him to just catch the ball. First and ten. Inside zone time. I feel like I'm going to make it in, but we don't. So the next play, you guys already know what we're doing. This cheating run play, bro. Okay? This this run play is cheating. It's, and he's actually over there waiting for it. And I still get it. And we coast in for the easy touchdown. So now my man has one last chance with 35 seconds left. We're up 28 to 21. Now, I'm not really playing serious on defense because I wouldn't be using 3-4 consistently as much as I did in this game. You know what I'm saying? As he hits the comeback route, real easy for him to do. Now I'm going to fake the blitz. You see that right there? Faking the blitz. These guys jump out. And he throws this. I feel like I got it. But instead, he gots it. But he's in bounds. So now the time runs out. This is his last chance to score. Boom. We get someone chasing him. And we get that user lurk with no time on the clock. And we end up winning. I will break down the Heisman run for you guys. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Love you guys, man. Peace.